Covington Show. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope you enjoy the program. Hi, welcome to the Lady Covington Show. Thanks for joining us today. Um, today I'm here with Jimmy Hubbard. He's a pianist, a very well-known pianist in the Atlanta area. How you doing, Jimmy? Oh, bless. Hallelujah. And highly favored. Amen. <laughs> How long have you been playing, Jimmy? 37 plus years. 37 plus years? Wow. And are you self-taught or are you school-taught? Actually, I'm self-taught. Self-taught? Okay. And um, Started when I was five. Started when you were five? Right. Wow. Okay, when you self-taught and you started at five, what happened? You just sat at a piano? I mean, what what drew you to the piano to learn it? Actually, you know, this is so interesting. This is, uh, actually, I was, uh, when I was young, mm -hmm. <clears throat> when I was young, I, uh, I was at a piano. We was in Texas during the time uh, that when I was in, when I was like three, uh, I think, about three, and later years came, and as it came uh, to ten years, I was like at a piano from where we lived with the uh, with one of my mother's friends. Okay. And she had a piano there, and it was an upright piano, and I recall. Getting on that piano doing a morning breakfast. You know, so. Okay. And my mom called me from the living room while I was on the piano. Okay. And she called and she said, Jimmy, come and eat your breakfast. I I was got on the piano, stood up and think on the stool mm -hmm. and started hitting keys, you know. And but I wasn't playing a song. I okay. was hitting keys, you know. <laughs> All right. And um, she, she called in and she said, Jimmy, come and eat your breakfast. Your breakfast is getting cold. I told her, I, I yelled back and said, I don't want to eat breakfast, mommy. I want to play my piano. <laughs> <laughs> and so she kept saying, boy, come on here and eat your breakfast. I said, no, ma'am, mommy, I want to play my piano. <laughs> so I saw her hitting tunes. She said, don't let me come in there after you. I said, yes, ma'am, mommy. <laughs> so I went in there and into the breakfast table with the family and ate. And so later, they, um, it grew in proportion, the music, you know, that was sending. So I started playing later. Okay. Uh -huh. But it, it caught my attention when I was five, you know, so when I was Wow. Five. See, I'm, all, I'm just interested in somebody said they self-taught, and, uh, and they learn the notes. How they know that note is a C, or how they know... How they know that note is a D because nobody taught you. You know what I mean? How you know um, to play a low C or a high C? Well, actually, that comes by experiencing and the gift that you have. Uh, you would know, you, uh, only a uh, person that plays by ear, uh, whether a person that is articulate and learning to play, you know, okay. such as learning with a teacher, something that knows, experience, or had lessons, can show you on the piano a D from a C, or C from an A, mm -hmm. or A flat from a C sharp, or something. But a person that that God gifted, that is equipped and uh, with a gift that God gives mm -hmm. you know, without learning or happen to study with a teacher. Um, you got to know um, what you can know because you have a perfect pitch, you know, of an ear. You would know that, you know. 
if a person that studied from a teacher and a person versus that did not study with the teacher that has some kind of um, a gift that knows a piano or knows music. So the person that with the instructor could get on the keyboard and, or a piano and say and hit a D which the person that not had any kind of lessons, form of training that sit here and the, not looking at the person. Now we're talking about perfect pitch. Right, uh -huh. okay. So they would hit a note on the piano and they would know it, knowledgeable, from training. Okay. Then the person that's here that do not know music or had any form of training but no music that can hear it. So the person hit the note, hit a C, and but the person that's sitting here that has perfect pitch would know that's a C. Okay. Because they can hear it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that comes from training training by sound. It's it training by listening. Is, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Listen. So in other words, that's interesting. Yeah. So in other words, really God have equipped that person with a um Almost like perfect hearing. That's right. When it can hear the sounds perfectly. Exactly. When, like me, mm -hmm. I might not have a perfectly, um, I could hear perfectly sound pitch, but because I took music, I took a lesson in music, I would know what to play. Even if I don't know how it sounds, I just know that's a C. Exactly. That's, that's interesting. I mean, it's... So very, that's really, truly a gift. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. That's truly a gift. And not everybody, not too many people have that gift. No. Wow. So that's just like uh, over. Let me ask this though. So do you think because you started at an early age that your ear had developed to hear that pitch? Or do you think you probably was born with that already and at that time you just went ahead and used your gift? What do you think? Well, it has to, um, the question you just asked, many people, they don't have that, you know, they just come out and play, unless you can train for that perfect okay. pitch. In other words, you can, they have a school for perfect pitch. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, yeah, they have all kinds of tools, you know, that you can learn. But, for as for as me speaking, uh, perfect pitch, I can basically tell what's happening, you know, when you okay. hit a note, or whether it's a C sharp or whether it's a sharp or color, because the music is color. You can hear it, you know. You can hear the darkness, you, the dark side. You can hear the lighting side of it, you know, as you go up and down the keys. Wow, so, it's color. Uh, musicians only speak color because when they play different chords, it's very colorful and it has a meaning to those things. Wow. Okay. So and it's almost like seeing it uh, uh, colorful, like uh, um, and variations of red, yellow, black. You know, it's like looking at it. You know, but hearing wow. it. You know, okay. And you can identify. It. That's that's quite interesting. Oh, it's it's in depth. Wow. So, in other words, it's just like, you know how some people are singing, and then you have somebody who say, I, I didn't know if that person was off key or on key. They know, like, if that pitch was right. right. You know, that's just like, they probably, ha they have, they say they have a, a gift of, um, a gift of sound, a gift to hear how are they, are they, I know some people say you tone deaf. Right. Like no people who can't sing. Exactly. Like people who don't have a voice like me. I don't have a voice okay. to sing. So if I sing, but in my mind mm -hmm. and um in my mind it's like I'm singing very good. Right. But when it come out, it's right. awful. Okay. So that means it's like 
And they say, you tone deaf because it's saying, you don't really hear the real sound of your voice. Mm -hmm. You know, when somebody else can hear the real sound. Right. And that's why they say, oh, no, 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 you're not good. You know, you, got, you need a singing lesson or you need to train your voice. Mm -hmm. So, I would like for you, if you don't mind, to play, show some, you know, show us that skill you have and play a, play a tune for us. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to play? Okay. Yes, okay. yes. I want you to play. Oh, really? Yeah. And tell us what the name of the, the other song because somebody like me, I might not know that sound. Mm -hmm. And unless you sing it, then I'll know the song. Okay? Right. Well... You hit something just a minute ago, as before before I go. In. Okay. You said something about uh, tone deaf mm -hmm. and people that don't can't sing, but they want to sing mm -hmm. and can't hear the note. Right. Well, I don't like to use. I teach voice. Okay. Yeah. I, from experiences, I I taught a lot of choirs throughout. Okay. Uh, north, east, south region of Atlanta. So if I sing something, you tell me what I need to do. Yes, I can, let, I can let help me you develop your okay, voice. Okay, I'm going to sing this. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. See, that don't sound good at it's all. It's because, I'm going to tell you the reason why it doesn't to you. Okay. Now you have a uh, you, you have a voice, okay? Because we were born gifted, the blacks. I mean, well, I wouldn't say black. I would uh, everybody that that uh, has an inspiration of singing or inspired to sing. Okay. We are often uh, well. Let me go ahead and say black people. Okay. Are gifted. Okay. Because we have the gift inside of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to discriminate from black and white. Okay. It's just something about the blacks. We, you know, we dance good. We we have. Uh, it's in our genes. Okay. That's I believe. Really, yeah, I uh -huh. think so. We come out boogling, you know. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> we, we do some things. I mean, some. Dangerous things. When I say dangerous, it's dangerous. You know? Right. Like, it, it's good. You know? Right, right. <clears throat> so, back to uh, hearing music, uh, wanting to sing on um, what you just sung mm -hmm. just a minute ago. Uh, your voice is open, but not really open. It, you're singing from your throat because okay. it's a hoarseness there. Okay. You know? So, you have to be careful how. You open your mouth, and uh, so the your uh, larynx can, or your tongue, okay, mm -hmm, will touch the top of your palate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the thing about it is that you want to open your mouth wide enough so the air can just flow through the hole that's coming out. Oh, okay, throat. okay. And you don't want to muzzle your throat by all oh, See, all that is muzzling okay. the throat. You want to come out with, oh, oh, you know, like a, 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 you want to raise your voice instead of lowering it to okay. the point where it would be like, oh, uh, like, muzzle. You don't want to muzzle. So the thing about it is that, but there is a technique for that. A technique. Mm -hmm. And everybody can develop everybody this can sing. technique yes. and everybody can uh, sing. I always say if you can talk, you can sing. Wow. Well, I heard somebody say this before. Yeah. If a car ran, that's right. It can run again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's interesting. And not everybody can be a songstress, right? But no. everybody can but sing. But everybody can sing. Wow, like some birds sound better than right, another exactly. bird, but they still can sing. They still can sing. Wow, 
That's that's interesting. I I learned something today, and I hope my audience learned something today. And if they want to get in touch with you, Jimmy, and uh, for them to get voice lesson, or for you to tell them how they can play the piano, how can they reach you? <laughs> Go directly to my email. Go well, ahead, give your email. My email is jimmyhubbard1 at gmail.com. Okay. And you're also looking for people who can play instruments, like drummers and... Well, actually, I'm also looking for, because I'm working on a uh, gospel single CD. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, I'm looking for singers, I'm looking for drummers, bass players, guitar players, musicians, and uh, for it. And if you can, or if you have that kind of gift, or wanting to, you know, uh, play, you can send me a video link, you know, to uh, link a video of your playing or singing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And later I will tell you where the audition would be held. Okay. Mm -hmm. give, give your email, I mean, yeah, give your email address again. It's jimmyhubbard1 at gmail.com. Okay. And um, you ready to play? Oh. My servant. Okay, thanks. Uh, you, you, that's your vehicle, your your vocal, everything. You have to warm it up like an instrument. It's an instrument. Okay. Uh, wow. And an instrument has to warm up before it's played. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it same thing applies to our voice, our vocal. Okay. It has to be warmed up with exercise, with all kind of. Um, um, techniques, how to get in, tap into the voice. Okay. Just like playing the piano, you have to warm up before you actually play. Okay. Just like a car, when you go into a car, you have to start up the engine, the initial, uh, put it in and then start it up and let it run for a while before it can really go into driving. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Especially when it's cold, when it's cold weather, mm -hmm. you definitely would need to warm up your voice because you're outside in a cold and you need something wrapped around your voice after you have sung, you know, and going out in the cold, you have to wrap that throat up because it can get hoarse. You could become hoarse or it could be something that it could damage your voice because you are in a warm area coming into a cold area, which is not good. Right. So, okay. And drinking cold water before you sing is definitely not, not good. You would, uh, uh, my suggestion would be drinking some warm water. Warm. Look warm to warm your throat. And some people have, um, they say add lemon. Why the lemon? Lemon is... Sometimes the lemon is not good because it can, it can scratch your throat as well because oh, it has okay. that acid, you yeah. know, kind of, you know. I would suggest people to eat lemon. There are some lunges, throat lunges, or lunges, can be helpful to that point. Okay. All right. Or such as uh, uh, E. coli. A recola. Okay. You know, like honey. Yeah. Mm, I heard that. I heard that. Did I say E. cola? Yeah, I heard that. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> e. cola. Okay. We know what you're talking about. Recola. Oh, Lord. Recola. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Every time I hear that term, recola, I... I I get it like, okay, E. cola. Right, when I'm going right. to a CVS looking for re cola, I say, You have E. cola? Boy, you look at me like, Huh? E. cola? <laughs> I say, Okay, E. cola. <laughs> but re cola. Right. Re -cola. <laughs> so that's what I get for to warm up my voice or to keep my voice subtle. Okay. All right. Now, um, <laughs> I'm just I, I I'm gonna play, I'm not gonna sing. Okay. Okay. 
I'm just going to play it too. Yeah. And this piece called um, uh, My Help. Okay.
Very good. Very, that's awesome. And you can reach Jimmy at jimmyhubbard1 at gmail.com. And if you're unable to get him through Gmail, you can call me at 770-885-7729. That was awesome. I have another thing for you. How does somebody have a child, and that child is interested in learning how to play a piano or any other keyboard, and they don't have the funds to um, get that child started? What do you suggest they do? Well, if that child is interested in playing, and that parent knows someone that is freely and giving his time mm -hmm. to help the child to grow into learning okay. or to teach, okay. then I suggest that that parent should go ahead and pursue that individual. Okay. Okay, you hear that, parents, right? Go ahead and pursue. Okay, and I want to thank you again, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. I wish you the best. Thank you for watching the program today. I know you've been blessed. And if you have a story to tell, a testimony, or you have something you would like to discuss on the show, write me. At the Lady Covington Show, Post Office Box 28434, Atlanta, Georgia, 30358. Or call me at 770-885-7729. I would love to hear from you. And again, thank you for watching the Lady Covington Show.